This video today is on how to do the Google Calendar scheduling for your lawn care customers. You need to be able to schedule them out and schedule the routes according to the days because if you're like me, you'll uh, when I first started, I was driving all over town every single day trying to get everybody in the day they wanted to get in and I was not organized and I spent a lot of gas and time doing that. So all of this to say, I'm going to show you how to schedule your routes according to your calendar. So go into Google Calendar or sign into your Gmail account. Then go to Google Calendars down here. If you don't have a Google account, you need to create one because it's going to help you organize yourself a lot. And it's all free. And then you have mobile apps that you can use so that you can organize. So what I'm going to do is show you how to organize by the month or really you could organize your whole summer out as you get people. I've already added in a few of my properties here but I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to pull up the properties here on the customer info document that I have given you and you can watch the video on the documents or the in the document section a beginner's guide to lawncare.com and how to edit this document. I have these are a bunch of the customers I have and I've left their address and all their info out because obviously I don't want you to have that. So I've just put names here and uh, I've actually already as I entered in I just organized them according to the city that they are in. Okay, so that I know how to route these out. Um, I'm going to just show you when you add these people in how you can keep them organized alphabetically. So I'm going to go over here to task um, and you can add any tasks that you need to do. Whenever I get someone that calls me, like this guy, um, he said that he might want some sod. He actually called me last year and said he wanted it this spring. So I'm going to put a question mark by him. Whoops, don't want to add that. So these are tasks. And then these people I just picked up this week, literally. Or these ones with question marks are people that I did last summer. and I ch Or I've done them for years. Or just seasonal. And so I've sent them emails to see if they want me to start back this month. And I'm waiting to hear back from them. I'm sure that they will use me. Because they always do. And these three people I just picked up this week. So I already added them in. So I can actually click that I've completed these tasks. I've added them into the customer info template. And these people, I'm just going to add Ann A and John G. Even though they have not gotten back with me. I'm just going to show you how I would do this. Down here as I add customers. John G. He lives in Taylor's as well. And um, Ann A lives in Simpsonville okay you'll get to know your town and your and your area very well okay so what I'm gonna do to organize these I'm gonna click here I'm gonna drag all the way down and select all these cities and then I'm gonna go up here to A to Z sort click on A to Z click on expand selection sort and then it actually sorted this in alphabetical order. So I've actually got my cities organized together. Now obviously um, in this document when you put the address if you want to add an extra tab that just has the city so you can organize your route better like this then feel free. If you want to add a tab this is all you do is you click in here to address right click on it click insert entire column click on that notice the column actually entered to the front of the address other than the end so it doesn't matter whichever way you want the column you can click here drag the column I'm sorry actually you can't never mind you can't switch those spots but Nonetheless, it doesn't really matter which side it's on. So if you want the actual street address here with their, their full address and then you want to put this city so you can organize, you can do that. Or I'm just going to go back and hit Control C. Well, it's not going to let me delete it. So 
Just going to go back and hit um, delete entire column. Okay, so that's how you do that. If you want to organize your routes this way, I have all these, I, I know my area so well, I can just look at an address, and if I've been there once, I know how to put it in my route. Now you can see here, I organize this by color according to the areas that they're in um, to kind of help me know how to route them. Because I like to, I like to route, um, schedule my routes according to, you know, what's closest to each other, and so the color coding can help you organize that. So you don't have to do this. Um, once you get good at your area and knowing where people live, you don't really have to. You just put them on the calendar. But I just did this to help you understand um, the areas. Uh, Simpsonville, I actually put as purple, so I'm going to change her to purple. And um, he's Taylor, so I'm going to change him to blue. You don't have to do this. You just can. Oops, I think that's a different blue than I had chosen before. Not sure. Maybe a dark blue. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, there we go. Um, so I put the Spartanburg one red along with the gray ones because the, these areas I actually do these um, they're close sometimes just depending on where I'm at um, my route I this this Spartanburg one is kind of out of the way from anything so just depending on the day I'll, I'll fit it in I'd, I that's bi-weekly every other week so I'm just going to show you how to take your customer info um, document and then schedule your whole month or really your whole summer or season however you want to do it if they're on a year-round contract you could literally schedule your whole year-round schedule now I've already done these um, but I'm gonna add some in just for the sake of illustration this is uh, actually tomorrow um, so I'm already scheduling the month of April out since I'm getting ready to uh, well I want to schedule my whole month out and I'm a school teacher during the year so my schedule is kind of tricky so it's not going to look exactly the same for this next month my school that I teach at gets out a month early so I'll be out doing lawn care full-time in May so anyways my my schedule is going to look a little bit different in April than it will the rest of the summer but I can still schedule some of these out all of these I've actually got every other week so if you look at the monthly here you'll notice starting the 31st if we go March to April that I've already got these out every other week because of how I've scheduled them so I'm going to show you how to do that I'm going to do my Tuesday schedule um, just because I actually added someone I'm going to go over here to task first actually and add a task um, because this is a new customer that I'm just going to do uh, mulch install for and this man he has an unusual name so I'm just gonna put this here for TB it's kind of initials for him click enter so I knew all your jobs that you get calls on like this guy up here you want to schedule out your just enter tasks over here to the right so that you can as especially in the really hectic season like this you're going to just get calls every day and some of them you're going to have to put question marks by because you haven't heard back and some of them you need to just click add them into the calendar as you get a chance and all of this is on the mobile app on your that if you download the uh, Google Calendar mobile app anything you add on your phone shows up right here on the computer anything you show up on the computer add on the computer it shows up on your phone so Tuesday I'm gonna actually go back to the by the week and I want to put it in the times um, you're not gonna always be exactly on time but you want to just kinda of schedule it out according to the time now I know the mulch company is dropping the mulch off uh, in between 8:30 and 9 a.m. at this customers house so I'm gonna actually get there at 8 o'clock so I'm going to cl double click in this pane. It's going to open that up or in that cell. And I'm going to type the, nut, the uh, 
the event mulch install at t t base okay this is a one-time event so I'm not going to click repeat because I don't want this to be every two weeks or whatever it's a one-time event I'm just going to say in the description install I'll even do this 12 cubic yards of mulch I'm going to also aerate and overseed tall fescue and I'm also trimming two trees okay um, notifications I'm gonna click X I don't want any notification if you want uh, this notification basically is where it will send you a text message and or an email that will pop up on your phone that will remind you that you have this event now I just I pretty much have my my week memorized so I don't want pop-ups every hour otherwise if you do this uh, notification literally about 15 minutes you can actually set how how early you want it like say f if you set it 15 minutes before the time that it's scheduled you're gonna get a pop-up a text message on your phone it's gonna tell you that you have this schedule some people like that I don't like it because I have everything memorized but if you aren't good at memorizing stuff you just want reminders you can do that notification and it's very easy okay so this is the one-time event so um, you can even put where you can put the address of the customer I'm not going to put that in here but you can do that and I have that from 8 a.m. that's going to be an all-day job so I'm going to do that from 8 a.m. until I'm just going to put five obviously it could go more but I just want to know do not schedule anything that day other than that job because that's a big job and uh, I actually have how I measured that job out and um, when I complete it I will actually video that I, I have the uh, all of that in the training on how to spread mulch this specific job actually okay so notice that takes up the whole day on Tuesday okay now Wednesday I'm gonna schedule it and show you how to schedule repeat customers um, and uh, let's see here well you know what Wednesday because I'm on spring break this week my schedule is gonna be different I'll, I'll show you that in a minute so Wednesday I know the people that I that I have to do um, and I'm gonna actually show you how to do that separately this month I'm going to show you this real quick. I'm going to click here on this event and I'm going to go over here. I know I'm going to be doing all my Simpsonvilles on this day every other week. And I want to schedule it um, according to this month. So I'm going to do all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to do 9 in one day. That's not too difficult all by myself do nine yards if I schedule them right a lot of these are in the same neighborhoods I can easily do nine in one day okay so I'm gonna go back to my week I'm gonna click on Friday at 8 a.m. I'm gonna add this event okay um, the first person I'm gonna actually add is whoops Bob M now I'm going to show you I want to click on this repeat I'm going to go from 8 to 9 I average an hour on each person's yard on the scheduling even though some I can get done in 20 or 30 minutes and some maybe take an hour but I always just average out one hour per person okay um, and notice here on the repeat because I want this to repeat more than one time so I don't have to punch it in this month again I'm gonna hit repeat every two weeks on Fridays starts on this date which is the first day that I've entered it in and ends on this date now if you wanna do the same day 
throughout the entire summer you can put you know through August 31st I'm just gonna do through the end of this month so I'm gonna actually click on um, let me just go back to April so I'm gonna do April 30th so 4 30 click out of that hit done okay if I want to color code it according to the color coding here Simpsonville is purple so I'm going to color code this purple I'm going to click on uh, purple here I can do a description here this is just a regular lawn care maintenance so I don't actually type in the description it's just cutting his grass mow blow and go okay so I'm going to hit save on that notice again notifications I don't want notifications so I'm going to click X on that okay and I'm gonna click save now notice if I go to the monthly on Friday I have this every other week through the end of April so um, let me skip over to April March 3rd is the first day that I'll be out there and then you see two more times in April on these days here okay so we're gonna go back to that I'm gonna go back and show you um, how to add another person um, now what I did was I schedule these every other week on Friday but because this week I'm actually off on spring break and I'm a school teacher I want to move this over to Wednesday just for this week but I don't want all the events to change till Wednesday so I'm just gonna left click I'm gonna hold and I'm gonna drop this on Wednesday and it's not gonna drag every event to Wednesday it's only gonna do that one single event so notice when we go back here I'm still every other week in April um, I'm just I'm just not this week according to um, I'm sorry according to the April calendar so I, I shifted that to Wednesday just for this week but then every other week from uh, here on I can do Friday or I can reschedule these and I can uh, if you wanna say this is every other Friday through the end of the summer and then you decide oh I don't wanna do that I wanna do this every other Tuesday but I want to change all the events left click here hit edit event do the repeat here edit then you can do um, every Tuesday click on that hit done hit save and then it will ask you do you want to save this to all events um, and you just click yes okay but I don't want to do that so I'm just gonna cancel this out and I'm going to hit save here because this is the exact schedule that this guy is going to be on this month. And I'm going to do the same thing for all the ones that are going to be on this day. But then, as I organize my May calendar, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my Simpsonville customers on um, in May. I'll probably switch them to Tuesdays because I'm not going to be teaching anymore and my schedule for my teaching job I don't teach on Friday so I schedule a bunch on Fridays and then uh, whatever I can do in the afternoon so I'm just scheduling this month out and it's a weird month again for me so I'm just showing you how to do this and you'll get the hang of it and you'll be able to switch around your routes like I can grab this and I can put it over here if I don't get it done Monday and I need to go back I can click it drag it and then it saves it or I can click it drag it back and it saves it back here in this state so you can reorganize once you add events and customers according to days and then you'll notice as your route your route might change a little bit you might be normally I'm actually in that Simpsonville area every Tuesday and Thursday so I would organize some on Tuesdays some on Thursdays and then I can repeat those every other week where I have some customers that are every week that and you just click that in the repeat 
Okay, so I'm going to do one more for an example. I'm not going to do all of my customers, but I'm going to do one more for an example. Um, again, this is Simpsonville, so I'm going to do David. And so I'm going to add him on this date because this is this Wednesday. And um, I'm going to actually go back because I want to make sure I get him in a get him on a good time. Um, let's see here. All right, so I'm on. I'm going to go to week, and then on Wednesday, I've got Bob from eight to nine. I'm going to do him from um, nine to. 10 because I average an hour for for each person and I'm going to actually show you he takes 30 minutes and I do his neighbor right next to him who takes 30 minutes I'll show you how to kind of change that um, in fact you know what I'm just going to go ahead and do it right here and just do 930 I'm going to click repeat every two weeks and again, I'm just going to do through the end of this month, through the end of April. So April 30th, 4, 30, enter, um, click, done. Again, you can add a description, whatever. I'm going to click on the color of the event so I know where I'm at. I'm going to take off notifications. And uh, I'm not going to put the address. You can add the address here for you to be able to be more organized until you learn and memorize your customers' addresses and where they're at. So I'm going to click Save. Okay. Uh, I forgot to put a title, so I'm going to click here, Edit Events. And that was David. So let me put this here. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save again got everything right um, and see because I edited that event I'm not gonna if you want to just edit one event like a name of a person or whatever you can click only this event but I want to edit all of the following events okay now I'm gonna go up here that's that says agenda um, I'm gonna go back up here to month and click on it and notice David is April 1st and let me because I'm on the March calendar I'm gonna scroll ahead and notice that it added it every other Wednesday but for this month because I want to do that last day of the month um, I'm gonna actually click this and drag it to that Friday which would be May 1st and then this is this Wednesday so I want him on Wednesday but I don't want him in two weeks on Wednesday I want him with Bob on that Friday and I just click and drag see how easy that is so you'll learn how to really organize this where it really does help you is when you get into your summer like for instance in May I know that I want David on um, Tuesdays because that's when I schedule my that his area of Simpsonville I will schedule them every other Tuesday um, and in fact he's a weekly customer so I'll actually schedule him every Tuesday so what I can do is I'll just show you because I gotta do it for May anyways I'm gonna add a separate event for him and I'm gonna click every day so weekly repeat every one week on Tuesdays ends on and I'm gonna actually put August 31st see so when you start organizing your entire summer you can literally schedule the whole summer out and I'm gonna click on the purple event I'm gonna click it's already got no notification yeah. actually find a time on that date because I don't have well let me let me just go back to event details I'm gonna click save on this okay now notice because I'm on the monthly and I didn't click on the week that it doesn't have a time well it does have nine o'clock here 
So maybe I did do uh, maybe I did do that for some reason on the monthly. I don't see the timing. So let me just show you how how to change that if you need to add a time. So click edit event. Notice he's every week through the end of August. Find a time. Okay, he's going to be nine o'clock. So I just click, scroll down here. He's going to be nine o'clock. Now it's going to select a whole hour. If I just want him 30 minutes, I can scroll back. Notice this is this block includes an hour. Each of these two blocks is 30 minutes. So I just select that and then hit save. Notice it went 9 to 9.30. Click save and it's going to ask me, do you want to do all the following events this way? Yes. So click on following events. Okay, now notice it put David at 9 o'clock a.m. So now that's how I repeat. And I can go to each month and see that he is marked out through the end of August every Tuesday at 9 o'clock a.m. So that's how you do your repeat schedule and um, it's a really w good way to organize things. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, just add in the rest of my customers and uh, but you get the gist of how to actually schedule out. Now make sure again your calendar is according to route. Like these are all very very close to each other. It's like these are side by side. This is literally two minutes down the road. This one's about seven or eight minutes away. And then I'm going to add more and more and more this day. These Simpsonville ones, I've got three in this neighborhood. Then I'm going to go down the road to one or two more. And then I'm going to go to another neighborhood that I have three. So I'm just going boom, 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 boom. These are all close together. So you want to schedule your days according to your areas and your areas according to your days. And um, you can get a lot of lawn care work done. You can save on gas and time by really organizing your schedule here in the Google calendars. So that's how you do the scheduling.